Mike Johnson spilled shockingly candid behind the scenes details on his romance with Demi Lovato, and Chase McNary shades his experience with MTV, coming up today on Bachelor News Daily. What's up, Bachelor Nation? Jeff Graham here, and before we dive into today's coverage, we just want to remind you to like this video and subscribe for daily updates, after shows, and interviews for The Bachelor franchise and all things reality TV. Let's get into it. So, wow, Demi Lovato and Mike Johnson are definitely happening, at least for the time being. On Ben and Ashley's Almost Famous podcast, he revealed a number of important details. One, Mike and Demi have definitely been on more than one date. Two, he acknowledged that the two of them have a lot in common, namely their mutual obsession with tattoos. And three, he revealed that Demi is in fact a very good kisser. Not only is she a great kisser, but she apparently likes playing the alpha. Or as Mike put it, she's the aggressor, which he finds incredibly sexy. He continued, I love that. Like, come at me. You want me, come at me. If I want you, I'm a come at you. And I'm coming at her as well. Confusingly though, Mike also said, I personally don't care to talk about what I do behind closed doors. I'm a gentleman, I'm not gonna kiss and tell. I might not always be a gentleman to her always. Is Mike being too forthright with all these behind the scenes details of this developing romance? Should he pull the Tyler Cameron, Nick Viall approach and just stay mum about the whole thing? Let us know down below. Chase McNary made the jump from ABC Bachelor World to MTV X on the Beach World, which feels a bit like being a Cheesecake Factory aficionado, but then deciding that you're switching to only McDonald's for the rest of your life. You know, it's, it's hard to get back on the list. <laughs> Chase told Us Weekly, I went over to MTV. It was definitely something I learned from, and if I went back, I probably wouldn't do it again. And I've been pretty vocal and outspoken of advising other people not to do that. I didn't represent who I was as a person and it crushed me for a while, so it feels good to get back with ABC and have a little touch back into paradise and to show the world who I really am and not let MTV kind of define me. On describing the experience, he mentioned new network, new following, new, new, new. I'll be the first, kind of the pioneer to cross that bridge, and it didn't pay off. This is very interesting to us as a TV network. Reality TV fans have always known that there's been aesthetic differences between MTV and ABC, but it's fascinating to hear about them from an insider. Are you a fan of both MTV and ABC reality programming? Do you sense the same difference that Chase does? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. That's all we've got for today on Bachelor News Daily, but make sure you tune in every Monday through Thursday for daily updates. In the meantime, my name is Jeff Graham. You can follow me on Twitter at Jeffrey C. Graham, and of course, we'll see you next time.